Exporting, Syncing, and Sharing Exporting flashcards is useful for a variety of reasons, such as creating a backup, getting your flashcards on your computer to make further updates, and sharing with others. In this video, I'll go over the following four topics. General exporting and backing up, transferring to another device, syncing, and sharing with others. General exporting. To export in the app's deck list screen, tap edit at the top right, tap a deck, then tap export share. Here you have a variety of options. If you use Dropbox, Google Drive, or OneDrive, these are good options because you can easily export many decks at once, including their media files. Email is an easy option when you don't need to export media. Exporting to app server can be good for sharing, but for backing up, this requires you to go to our website to get your flashcards. When exporting, you'll generally have the option to export statistics, which you'll want to include if you are exporting for backup purposes. Exporting to app server will send to our website's temporary storage area. This is the same area as if you upload using our website. For the purpose of backing up, this export option is less convenient because you can only export one deck at a time, you need to assign a unique deck code to each deck you export, and importantly, you need to then go to our website to grab your flashcards and save to your computer. After exporting, go to flashcardsdeluxe.com, then click Export. Note that this area on our website is for temporary storage. In addition to exporting individual decks, you can create a single backup file of the app's database for the purpose of later restoring from. This requires Dropbox or OneDrive. In the deck list screen, tap Edit at the top, then Backup Restore at the bottom. A new backup file with today's date will be saved to Dropbox or OneDrive. You also have the option to backup media files, which are stored outside of the single backup file. To later restore if necessary, use the Restore option. Transferring to another device. Before we get to syncing, decks can be transferred and updated between devices using a more manual approach. Assume device A has a deck you created and you want to copy to another device. On device A, export, including statistics, to a cloud location. On device B, add is a new deck. Assume now we do some studying or updating on device B, and we want to send back to A. On device B, export back to the same cloud location. Then on device A, tap Download Update from the Deck Edit screen. Again, the deck code defines the cloud location of the flashcards to download. You can also transfer all flashcard data using the Backup Restore method I mentioned earlier. This will replace all data on the target device. Syncing. If you want to keep multiple devices in sync, there's a sync feature that will do this. Go to Global Options Sync. I recommend the App Server option, as this process is fully automatic. This will require you to create a sync account on our servers. Make sure sync is turned on and tap Dex to sync. Syncing happens when you open and close the app. On your other device, you will also tap Dex to Sync, then select a deck from the cloud. If you already had a copy of this deck on the second device, you'll end up with two versions, the new synced version and the old existing version, which now can be deleted. You can tell which decks are being synced because they'll have a light gray bar along the right side of the deck listing. Sharing with others. You have a variety of options. One, exporting to app server usually works well for sharing.
create a deck code and export. Tell the other person what the deck code is, and in the app, they tap plus, private deck, and enter your code. Two, you can email others your flashcards. A person can open a file from an email and send to Flashcards Deluxe. You can also zip up one or more Excel or text files from your computer, including any media folders, into a single zip file and distribute. 3. Finally, you can export to the app's shared library. To upload to the library, you will need to create a shared library account. Flashcards can be public or private. If private, you can still allow others to download by creating a group with a password and assigning your deck to this group before sending to the library. To view your private flashcards, the other person will need to create an account and have your group name and group password in order to join. In the Share Deck screen, there is a Help button with more details. That's all for this video. See you next time.